If you've ever been to Corning City Hall, you may notice there is a bunch of people, young and old, and even a few pets on what's known as the People Wall. And if you've ever wondered about who someone is or where they are now, WNY's Lindsay Madison spoke with the woman who tracked down many of them and turned it into a book. If you take a look both upstairs and downstairs in City Hall, you'll see all kinds of people who worked and or lived in Corning. The photos were taken in 1976, and everyone knew everyone at the time, but now it's a bit harder to know who is who. So, one woman dedicated three years of her life, along with the help of the community, to find out who is who and their stories. The People Wall in Corning City Hall was put up because of bicentennial celebrations and the opening of the Nassar Civic Center. According to the People Wall author Barbara Bloomer, when the architects were building the Nassar Civic Center, 1% of fees had to be spent on artistic embellishment. They could have put a statue or somebody like that in the building like they often do in um, public spaces like in capitals, but instead the mayor and his um, colleagues from the Corning Foundation decided, let's fill City Hall with people because it belongs to the people. Elliot Erwitt was hired as the photographer to take 400 photos. However, only 150 portraits were used. As decades passed, people who moved to the area or were born after 1976 were curious about the people wall. That includes Bloomer. I started researching it and I got hooked and I spent a lot of time during COVID researching it and it kind of became my pet project. And now three years later, here it is, a book one of the men featured on the wall in 1976 is still doing what he loves today. He says he had a client at the time who was the head of publicity and told him to go home and change to be photographed. Very curious of what the people wall was. Still wasn't sure when we came in and it was a very exciting time. Um, as you were seeing pictures being taken, I started to get an idea of what was going to be happening and it was a very thrilling and I felt very uh, blessed to be a part of the whole community effort. Bloomer says the book is a symbol of community unity and civic pride after recovering from the flood of 1972. She says one of the things she was surprised about is despite people not knowing someone on the wall, they still find a way to connect with it and learn about it. She says she gets to learn about people's stories, and that leads to talking about Corning and how much it's grown and changed since the 1972 flood. The whole book and the whole experience kind of becomes uh, an interchange and I don't know an interaction with our feelings about being part of the community and how proud we are and how happy we are we we live here. Bloomer's book cost $76 which is a nod to the year 1976 when the people were first put up in City Hall. All the proceeds will go to the Corning Painted Post Historical Society and the Heritage Village of the Southern Finger Lakes and in case anyone was wondering yes this lobster was real. Reporting from Corning, Lindsay Madison, WENY News.